fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. There's trouble at Rio Santos. Come on, Silver. On the outskirts of the town of Rio Santos, the oiled paper that served as the single window for a small adobe shack still glowed. A group of men reined up their horses at a sign from their leader. They were still half a mile away. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The dog baker's still up there. He got a lamp burning. Maybe he's got a patient. That old sawbones don't care what time of night he works. <laughs> well, we get through with him, he'll have to do himself some doctoring. Just while he's up, though, it seems the trouble of yanking him out of bed. You just all ready? All ready, Brad. Hey, it's your point. You'll cover the window so he can't jump out and vamoose that way. Bust that paper in and keep your guns pointing. The rest of you hombres come along with me. We'll bust right in the door. We'll fix that sawbones. darkness, the men nodded. Six guns slipped out of holsters as they dismounted and slipped furtively toward the lonesome shack. And inside the shack, close to the flickering kerosene lamp, Doc Baker pushed his glasses up on his forehead, straightened his aching back, and smiled at his wife. May, I feel just plum tuckered out. I declare to goodness you should, John Baker. He was mad at now 11 o'clock. You've been up since 4 this morning. 3.30. Anyhow longer than mortal man should. And you've been doing it for weeks. Ever since we came to Rio Santos, seems like. And for why? I'm a doctor, May. I still say why. You've treated only the poor people, the ones who can't pay. You get small business from those rich enough to afford doctoring. All of them go to Dr. Flinner. Flinner is a quack. He's no more a doctor of medicine than, than you are. Then I wish you were more of a quack. At least we could make a decent living. May, you don't mean that. I'm sorry, John. No, I don't mean it. You're a doctor, and it's your duty to care for the sick and the ailing. All doctors take an oath when they graduate, May. The oath of Hippocrates. This country needs a real doctor instead of a quack like Flinner. That's why I'm here. I, I keep wondering if it's safe. Safe? Flinner is a friend of Lem Brandt. Lem Brandt is the political boss of Rio Santos and the whole county. He's practically an outlaw. Well, what of it? Brandt has robbed and killed and flouted every law except his own. Suppose Flinner should ask him to... to take care of you, John. <laughs> May, so you mean... There's nothing to laugh about. Brandt might burn down our house. He might take away all your medical supplies, break the bottles of drugs and your surgical instruments. <laughs> he might even kill you. 
Why, for all we know, there might be a band of them outside in the dark right now, stealing up on us. <laughs> May, you're just dreaming. Slither and Brand would never do anything like that. They'd never think it. Well, I... Now, what's the idea of breaking in that window? Who are you? Raise your hands and stand up, Doc Biggers. Johnny Slim, Brand. Maybe we're taking you outside. I, I don't understand. Is this your idea of a joke? You'll or... find out, Missy. Grab him, gents. <laughs> Santos is getting to be a big town. Haven't been over this way in a long time, Toto. Ah, we see town clear in moonlight. It's plenty big. And the stories we hear don't speak very highly of it. You mean about Lem Brandt? Lem Brandt is the boss of the town and the county. He controls everything from the judge's bench to the voting. Ah, uh, that's right. High time somebody decided to bring decent government and law and order to Rio Santos. Perhaps it'll be up to us. Lem Brand got gang of gunfighters. Him heap dangerous. Sooner we. Oh, keep it hunting. What's that? Gunfighters over that way. Look. Ah. Uh, what that man doing? Otto, that's a bucking horse in the center. Now he's stopped bucking and he's starting to run. He. Otto. Ah, uh, me see him. I can't believe it. That can't be a man that horse is dragging along. That man, all right. The end of a rope fastened to a bronco. Why, that's murder. Come on, Otto. Get him up. Scout. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Bring it back this way now. Watch it, boys, coming toward us. Please, please untie him and save him. Get away. You can't do that to him. It isn't even human. If there's anything left of him afterwards, be sure you take him far away from Rio Santos. Get out of here, young lady. I'll get a horse in the corral. I'll catch that bronco. Yeah, that bronco's fast. She'll never catch up with him. Here it comes, Brant. Yeah, we'll... But in plenty. That's not the bronco. It's a couple of riders. Look at that white horse. One side, we're going after that bronco. Well, I'll be... Shoot him down. Use your guns. <laughs> They want, they'll get it. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Put on through, Silver. Oh, you boys, Frank. Frank, you've got to run for it. Pull, Silver. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he must have me. I'm like scared rabbit. Heading toward town. We go after him, on. We get him easy. Oh. No, Toto. That man's life comes first. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. There he is. There's the bronco. Ah, uh, him fast, George. Hand me your knife, Toto. What you do? I'll catch up with him and cut that rope. Ah, uh, here. Here, knife. Cut. Come on, Silver. Come on, old fella, faster, faster. Help. Oh, help. Oh, save me. Oh, oh, here it is. There, let the Bronco go, Silver. This way, boy. Here, man, keep us happy. Come on, Silver. Whoa. Here, first thing is some water. Drink this. Yes, water. Always best, except for a stomach wound. Oh, you have rough ride, huh? Yes, Mighty grateful that you two came along. I heard shooting. Them Brand didn't want us to interfere. There were five of them. Only two of you. <laughs> but we're here. <laughs> I think I understand. Oh, oh Hunter heap sorry. Me look for broken bones. I don't think I have any. Just multiple contusions and abrasions. You're a doctor. Hmm? You talk like one. Multiple contusions. And just before you said water was bad for a stomach wound. Yes, I am a doctor. My name is Baker. John Baker. Oh, oh, there. Oh, oh. John, John, are you... Yes, dear. I was cut loose from that bronco just in time. Lembrain ought to be boiled in oil, tying a body behind a wild horse. He meant to kill you. I'm all right, May. These two men... Who are they? Are they friends of Brant or Flynn? May, May. They cut me loose. Oh, Oh, I'm sorry. I... John, this one's wearing a mask. Yes, I noticed. Don't let that trouble you, ma'am. Tonto and I are always opposed to men like Brant. Dr. Baker, you must have noticed my mask before your wife came. Yes, I did. Yet, uh, you made no mention of it. Sir, a doctor has only one duty in life. To tend those who are not well. Who those people are, what their secrets are, where they came from, where they go, are not mine to know or to question. I'm a doctor. I think you must be a very good one. Now, Mrs. Baker, Todd and I will get your husband to the house. First, we'll make him comfortable, then we'll find out what this is all about. Here, give me a hand, Toto. Uh, me take hand. 
Tell you, I can't understand it. Why a quack like Flinner and a political gunman like Brand should try to kill me? I was only serving the people of Rio Santos. Perhaps that's it, Doctor. Hmm? Brand and his kind don't want to serve the people. They want to squeeze them dry, get every penny out of them. But people who are sick... People who are sick mean nothing to human vultures. Yes. Yes, that's what May was trying to tell me before they broke in. John, we've got to get out of Rio Santos. We can't stay here. Next time they'll do what they set out to do. I don't like being a coward, May. You're not a coward. You're a brave man. But I want you to stay alive. You're my husband. This and I... county needs doctoring. Let them have Flinner. That butcher. That's all I deserve. No, May. No. No, no. You, you lean back. You plenty weak. Here, here. And this cloth. Cloth dipped in Indian herb. Oh, there. That feels mighty good. You're a medicine man. Oh. Well, me no Indian secrets. You're a good doctor. Tonto, can we leave Dr. Baker for a few hours? Uh huh. Him rest. Good. And we'll ride along. Oh, mask man, you're not going to leave now. Uh, don't worry, Mrs. Baker. We'll be back. But suppose Brant and his gunfighters come back here. I uh, don't think they will, ma'am, because uh, we're going after them. <laughs> Doggone it, Brent. You told me you'd take care of Baker, but he's still around. Shut your mouth, Flurry. I won't. I won't shut my mouth. Why, pretty soon everybody in town will be going to him when they're sick. Instead of coming to me, it'll ruin my business. You and the undertaker's business, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Brent. I've always played along with you, haven't I? As health officer of the county, didn't I go around and tell the ranchers the cattle might be condemned as unhealthy unless they supported you? Didn't I do likewise with the sheep herders? That's brought plenty of money in for you. You got your share. Agreed, but so did you. Now get rid of that saw bones, will you? Hey, Kino Flitty. We ran into a little trouble we weren't ready for tonight. A couple of fast shooting riders jumped and made us scatter. A couple? You had five. Well, that uh, took us by surprise, and well, never mind. We'll get Doc Baker, Sevy. We'll get him. You get everybody, don't you, Brent? What's that? Well, I'll be doggone. It's Loring. Get out of here, Loring. You're a bunch of no good buzzards. You're crooked all the way. Crooked as a snake's trail. If I was a shooting Now man, stop that, Loring. You're just worn out, nervous. Am I, Flinner? Well, you don't know what you're saying. You haven't slept the last couple of nights because your wife's been sick. But I've been treating her. She'll get well. Just stop that. My wife died two hours ago. If I had enough gumption, I'd have gotten Doc Baker. He's a real doctor. But no, no, you got political influence. I had to call you or get into trouble with Brandt. Now she's dead. If we only had a leader, we'd ride you out of this town, ride you clear across the border. She's dead. And you killed her. You, Brant, and you, Brant, are not... Curly, Jake, he's not worth a bullet to throw him outside. Yeah, Brant. Stand where you are. Mess, man. I'll carry him out. Pull the door open, Tonto. Make sure no one reaches for his gun. Uh -huh. Time to do it. We've met twice tonight, Brandt. I'm giving you fair warning. You and your whole crew pull up stakes and get out. Get out fast because I'm coming back. You'd better not be around when I do. What in tarnation? Well, be... Who was that Aubrey? Wore a mask. Looked like an outlaw. But he talked like a, well, like a Texas Ranger. Leave this town, he says. <laughs> who does that Aubrey think he is? I know who he is, Brent. I didn't seem so good before, but I did this time, and I know him. Brant, you're bucking up against the Lone Ranger. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto took Loring with them back to the doctor's small shack. Loring slept inside, asleep of exhaustion. The Lone Ranger and Tonto bedded down outside the shack, standing watch to make sure Brant tried no surprise attack. And the following morning... <laughs> well, it sure was a wonderful breakfast. May, you've been holding out on me. We never had bacon before, or eggs. Oh, now, John, the masked uh, man... Please, Mrs. Baker. Oh, I savvy. Masked man, you bought this food for us, didn't you? Why not, Doctor? Tonto and I are eating it too, aren't we? No, you needn't brush off my thanks. I don't know how we'll ever repay you for what you've done. <laughs> Unless I get around to collecting money from all the patients I treated free. Dr. Baker, I'm glad you mentioned that. Those patients can pay you back. Why, they haven't got a sense. That's right, mister. If they did have money, they'd have to go to Doc Flinner. I know, that's what I had to do. No, I'm serious, Loring. Please, all of you, listen to me. Yeah? Well, uh, go ahead, mister. We're listening. Doctor, those people owe you a lot. Now, they have no money, but they can pay you back in something else. They can pay you back by coming to your support. What? Those people don't know what Brant and Flinner tried to do to you last night, do they? Shucks, mister. Brant has stepped on all of us. Some worse than others, but all of us. Nobody's ever hit back. Why not, Loring? Well, because what can one man do against a gang of cutthroats like them? Exactly. What can one man do? That's always been the trouble. Each man would try to beat Brant himself. Now, uh, you, for instance, you're brave enough. You walked right into that cafe and told Brant and Flinner what you thought of them. But you didn't stand a chance, did you? I don't savvy what you're driving at. Neither do I. I think Tonto does. Don't you, Kimo Savvy? Uh, Tonto Savvy. Mister, I think I do, too. You figure that there's enough people whom I've helped who are willing to help me. Is that it? That's it. You'll tell them what happened to me last night and ask them to go up against Brandt. Yes. You've got a list of your patients you must have. Yes, I have. Tonto and Loring and I will take that list. We'll rouse up those people. You can count on me, mister. I have a score to settle. And I can get some others who aren't on Doc's list. I think that's a fine idea. Now, now just, it... a, just a minute. There might be shooting. Yes. Some of those people might get hurt. I can't knowingly let anyone get hurt for my sake. But that's just it. What they'll be doing will be for themselves, too. For them and for their children and for the future of this territory they've chosen to live in. This country is the home of the free. And those people have a right to be free. Free of Brant and all his kind. You've heard of the motto, united we stand. Well, that's what Rio Santos needs. Now, what do you say, Dr. Baker? Well, I... I... Who's that? Uh... Keep Brant. Brant. Howdy, Mr. Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger? Yeah, keep having a power with you. You'll notice I'm not wearing my guns. I noticed that, Brant. You wanted to make sure I wouldn't take advantage of you, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You got a reputation for doing everything fair and square. That's not your way, Brant. You're here for a reason. All right, speak up and get out. Good enough. Mister, I run Rio Santos, and I intend to keep on running it. But just to make things easier, and give me a chance to save your hides. All of you in this room, you've got no dawn tomorrow to pack up and leave. Uh, uh, uh. You afraid of trouble, huh? Maybe so, uh, Engine. Uh, uh. I'll admit I've got no hankering to tangle with the Lone Ranger. If we can win without fighting, so much the better. Have you got anything else to say, Brant? Nope. Tomorrow morning at dawn. Hey, just a minute. Dr. Baker. Yes? Before Lem Brandt came in here, I asked you a question. You started to answer that question. Will you answer it now? Yes, I'll answer it. I've changed my mind. I agree with you, Masked Man. United we stand. What's this all about? It's your answer, Brandt. Hey, what kind of lingo? I'll make it plain. You can come here at dawn tomorrow. You can bring all the gunfighters you've got. We're not leaving. None of us. Adios. You've just said your death warrant. Stand still, you coyote. Get up, you trouble. Now, Dr. Baker, we only have until dawn tomorrow. Let's have that list of names. Already, Loring? Yep, I've got my list of names. I'll talk to as many as I can. Our horses are faster than yours, Loring. You can cover the section east of here. I better leave now. Yes, sir. Come on, boy. Get up. You have more names than Loring. Scout is faster than his horse. Cover as many as you can. Whatever happens, be sure you get back here by dawn. Me savvy. Adios. Get him out, Scout. Steady, Silver. Yes, ma'am. Here's that note you wanted. Good. Now 
Although the people I talk to may not know who I am. John signed it himself. All his patients know his handwriting. Stay in your cabin, Mrs. Baker. Keep a sharp lookout. We won't stand a chance if Brant changes his mind and decides to come before dawn. Well, Brant is pretty confident he won't change. But we've got to be ready for him by dawn. I'll try to bring as many men as I can. And so will the others. Oh, heaven bless you, mass men. Be careful. Right. Goodbye. Come on, Silver. Adios. 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 Settlers are widely scattered. We'll have to cover a lot of ground. Faster, Silver. Faster. <laughs> Three riders galloped at full speed, covering the land around Rio Santos. Time after time, they stopped at small shacks. Whoa, 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 boy, whoa. Chisholm, Chisholm, Doc Baker needs help. The Lone Ranger is going to fight against Brandt. Lone Ranger? Well, let me get my horse. Time after time, calling on all the people Dr. Baker had befriended. What's that, Injun? Uh, hear a note from Dr. Baker. Him help you when you're plenty sick. Now him need help. You get gun, get horse. Ride, Pronto, go to Dr. Baker's house, now. Ranging the countryside, calling on all honest people to rise up against the unscrupulous Brant. Oh, sure, senor. Dr. Baker is bring my Maria through sickness. This time we get Brant for good, eh? Bring guns and ammunition. Ride for Dr. Baker's cabin. Si, senor. Adios. Come on, Silver. Dawn yet, Brent. I want to get there as soon as the sun pokes above the horizon. I said dawn. I don't mean any later. I, uh, I hope that mask. Plenty of scared as a rabbit beating a snake. I get 50 with this. Every one of them two gunmen. The well, Lone Ranger shoots mighty straight. So do we. 50 against three. Four, County Glory. Well, maybe you got more help. <laughs> From where? Well, Baker helped a lot of poor people. Save <laughs> this, Flitty. I've been running things around here for years. There's nobody will dare to buck up against me. I beat him down too long. It won't take more than 10 minutes to wipe more lad. What about the woman? Mrs. Baker? Uh, we'll leave her alone. But if she gets in the way of a stray bullet, that's just too bad. What's the scheme, boss? I told you already. We stop near the cabin. We spread all around it. We crawl up close, and then we start shooting. We keep on shooting till there's nobody left alive to fight back at us. You know? Uh, yeah, we savvy. I reckon we'll be there mighty soon, Brent. The sky is getting light in the east. Sky's getting light in the east, John. Dawn isn't very far away. No, me. We have 25 men so far. I brought 10 and the Indian brought 15. Yeah, spread all around. Yeah, a circle around the cabin. Tonto, uh, is there any sign of the masked man yet? You watch in the west? Uh, it's get lighter now. Me watch, but me not see him. He had a long way to travel. He must be leading a group of them back here. Yeah. This horse is fast. He's probably picking him up as he comes. Well, there may still be time. Brand hasn't shown up yet. Is that right? No. No, look, you're wrong. What's that? Look, out the window. Oh, hold there. Hold there, boys. Oh, All right, the horses. I think they're just ready to start. Men, Brand. Tell the men to get ready. Get some help, huh? Yeah, we'll beat him easy. There's about 20 of them. Oh, hark to that. It's Curly Brandt. He's whistling. You know, that means all the boys are in position. Baker! Doc Baker! I hear you, Brandt. Where's the Lone Ranger? You don't answer, huh? <laughs> Reckon he rode off and left you. We're ready for you, Brandt. Ready for me, are you? <laughs> all right, Doc. I told you to get out. You stayed. Now you'll stay six feet under, all of you. We've got you surrounded. You see this gun I'm holding my hand? As soon as I pull trigger, my boys start shooting. So you better start praying. Let's go, Brant. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, what the? Why'd he give the signal? Brant, Brant, look, look, look behind what? us. But your lone ranger, he's got 20 men with him. Yes, the lone ranger galloping out of the west. Silver led the way in behind the masked man toward the downtrodden ranches and homesteaders of Rio Santos. For the first time, they were united against their enemy, united under the leadership of the Lone Ranger to help their friend. We're fighting for Dr. Baker! Follow me! And follow him they did. Brant and his gun.
gunmen were caught between two fires. Guns blazed at them from the cabin, and behind them roared the guns of the Lone Ranger and his men. Brant was the first to crack. Stop shooting! Stop shooting! You got us! We give up! Brant, you and Flynn and your gang are all roped together. By right, some of you should hang. The masked man said something to Doc Baker about that before he left. Yeah, he isn't get us over with. No, I don't want to hang. I'm a, I'm a poor man. And... Flinner, you're neither poor nor are you worthy of the title of doctor. You'll never practice medicine again. No, sir. Never again. Anything you say. And as for you, Brand, you and your gunman, we're taking the Lone Ranger's advice. You'll be tried in a court of law, and the sentence of that court will stand. Rio Santos is through with you and your kind forever. We're free. We're going to stay that way. Yippee! Doc Baker for mayor! Hey! Oh, wait, wait a minute. I, I'm a doctor. I'm going to keep on being a doctor. But how about Loring here? He's your mayor. He'll make a good one, too. Well, Doc, with you to keep us well, I think I'll have an easy time running this town. Amen to that. But I'd like to ask something, too. Look yonder on that ridge. See them? Lone Ranger and Tonto. Oh, yes. They're the ones who saved us. We owe them everything. How about a cheer for the Lone Ranger? The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>